Hello guys! Today, I am going to make a JP's surprise. This is my in-laws recipe. So, I, will, I would like to share this to you. So, today, we're going to make this JP surprise. And this is the ingredients we needed. We have sugar fresh strawberries I already have a melted butter a pretzel stick or any kind of pretzel you can use jello you cook this on according to the box direction um, we have um, cream cheese and cool whip to use and as you can see um, I already did um, prepare this what you do with the pretzel you just have to crush it two cups of crushed pretzel and um, once you crush it you put it in your pan this is my pan and then once you crush the pretzel put it in here and then you added a you added some sugar on it and after the sugar, you have to melt some butter and added the melted butter in the pretzel. Okay. And then just mix. Make sure the butter is well blend with the pretzel. So once you mix the pretzel with the butter and sugar, just flatten your pretzel mixture okay okay once you flatten your mixture once you flatten this it's supposed to be look like this there you go that's how it's supposed to be look and then preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then once this is done um, you put this in your oven and bake it so now we're putting the butter in there the mixture bake that for 10 minutes for 350 degrees so while we're waiting for our mixture in the oven, we're going to prepare the spread. Make sure that you thaw, your cook is thawed. So just mix this. Cook put in your bowl. This is um, this is eight ounces of Cool Whip, and then you added the cream cheese. I used the whipped cream cheese, so it's easy to mix. So added this in your Cool Whip. So added this in your Cool Whip and then mix you put the whole thing and this is it's um eight ounce eight ounce of covid and on description down below i will tell you the the recipe i'll tell you how much the measurement of this so once you put them together just continue to mix it make sure that it's well blended and once you mix this okay now that it's done mixing and they're all mixed together. 
Now you can add your sugar. And then continue mixing again. I will put the measurement on the description. But if you don't want too much sweet, then you can just put some of the sugar. But some they don't like too sweet. So you can just um try to put a little sugar if you want. But I have the measurement on my description. I will write it down. If you don't if you don't want to follow how much sugar I put on this one, you can omit some of the measurement. Okay? So now we're still waiting for our pretzel in the oven. We're waiting for our crust to get done. Okay, so now it's course well blend. So what you do, just set this aside. So now my crust is done. Once you cook the crust for 10 minutes for 350 degrees, you can set this for about 10-15 minutes. Just try to cool it down before you put the next topping. The one that we just make, the cream cheese and the cool whip. Put them on top once this is cooled down. As you can see, I already prepared my strawberries. And for, um, for my tip, guys, if you want to make this dessert, and if it's a strawberry season, I suggest for you guys to use fresh strawberries. And if it's not seasoned, just use the frozen strawberry. So I'm going to prepare this strawberries while we're waiting for our crust to cool down what you just need to do is, is slice the strawberry the more strawberry you use is better so just slice the strawberry like this As you can see, I already finished slicing the, my fresh strawberries and now I'm preparing my water for the jello. So use, just use the box as directed on how you cook the jello. So we'll wait till the water boiled. And we are going to put our jello. So I have two minutes to wait for my crust to get cool a little bit. And for that um, meantime, we are going to prepare our jello. So now I check my crust. It's a little bit cool. It cooled down a little bit. I cool it down for like 10 minutes and now I've got my other um, my spread that we already mixed earlier this is the cream cheese cool whip and sugar mixed together so now we are going to spread this on top of our crust While we're waiting for our jello to cook, I'm doing this now. Let's spread this cold crust on top of our pretzel crust. 
Okay, just make sure you, the mixture is evenly spread on your crust. Okay. Did you stop? So this is the mixture. The bottom one is the pretzel and I just finished spreading the spread that we just made on top of our pretzel crust. This is the Cool Whip cream cheese and sugar. So set this aside. And now we are going to cook our jello. So while you're waiting for, well, once you finish your spread, your other um, steps, just put that in the ref while you're waiting for your um, jello to cook. So now the water is boiling. So now I just put my strawberry jello. Cook your jello for two minutes or until everything is dissolved in the water. And now once your jello boil, just add your fresh strawberries. So add your fresh strawberries on your jello. So and then once you mix it with your jello, just wait for a little while to let it cool a little bit before pouring it in your um mixture earlier. Just cool this down, okay? Before putting it on your next layer. Now I just check my strawberry jello. It's already cool. I let this sit in the refrigerator after cooking for about 10 minutes. And now I got out my um, spread right here. So now we're done with our first layer of the pretzel. The second layer of this mix with Cool Whip and cream cheese and sugar. And now lastly is we're going to put this on top of our mixture. So now everything is ready. Now we are going to, I am going to mix this strawberry on our mixture. All you have to do is just do like this. Just scoop your jello on top and spread it evenly on your second layer. And make sure that this strawberry jello is cool, okay? Do not mix this when it's hot. So cool this down in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And just evenly spread the strawberry on your second layer. So just like that. You might need like two spoons or two gadgets to spread the strawberry in your on top of your mixture. So it's evenly well coated with the strawberry. I use a pint of the strawberry guys the the fresh one and I just slice it but if you happen to use a frozen strawberry you can use the whole small bag that you can buy in the store you don't have to defrost it all you have to do on the frozen one if you want to use the frozen strawberry once you boil and cook your jello you just added the frozen strawberry on your jello while it's hot and then let it sit. 
and just stir it and then just put it in the refrigerator till it cool down a little bit and then you can do this put it on top of your mixture that is if you want to use the frozen strawberry but if you want to use but I recommend you guys to use the fresh one if it's strawberry season because you know if it's strawberry season the strawberry is so sweet so you can never go wrong even you use fresh or frozen strawberry it's still gonna be the same taste the same so it's almost done we even the layer our strawberry on top of the second layer of a mixture and it's beautiful i will show you after i'm done putting this and just you know make sure just be careful on putting this on top so you don't mess the you don't want it to dig inside and then all your other mix in here will go you know will go on top so there you go guys hold on a minute i will just add it the sauce when you add the sauce just do this slowly don't pour it straight you know just do it like this slowly so you don't ruin the under the bottom one you don't ruin the bottom mixture so just make sure it's evenly coated and if you see white like this i just take it off okay almost done there you go I will show you so there it is guys our strawberry um, on top of our jello so this is our JP surprise so now I am going to put this in the refrigerator let it cool in there until it mold until it get hard the strawberry and the jello gets hard so again guys this is my JP surprise that we made for today I wish and um uh, you guys make comments down below and just try this you know one one time and, and see what how would you like it this this is an easy dessert it's a JP surprise it came from my mother-in-law and I'm just wanted to share it with you guys okay so hope you like my video um, on the description down below I will put the description on how how much you know the measurement that you needed on this and how you prepare and all the things that you needed just don't forget to comment down below until next time again thank you for watching have a safe and healthy summer goodbye until next time stay safe and healthy bye bye